All right, what's up guys? Welcome to one of the best trips you can take in Bali, Indonesia. So check it, in this video you're gonna see where we went to Komodo Island, we went to the Nusa Islands, Nusa Lembongan and, Pen and what was the other one called, babe? Panita. And here we go. So this was one of our favorite places on the trip. This is a place called Devil's Tear and it's on Nusa Lembongan, which you can take just a quick ferry ride uh, from, from Bali and you can pop over there in, in under an hour. Uh, we started our trip in Shanghai. We flew down, we took the red-eye flight and we arrived first thing in the morning. What's awesome about Bali is they've got a lot of Uber, they've got a Uber and Lyft available on the island, so download the app before you head over to your trip. Day one started in Uluwatu. Uh, we just took a quick Uber down from the airport and we stayed on this beautiful cliffside villa. Uh, this was honestly one of my favorite spots in the entire place. Uh, watch out for the monkeys if you leave any food around. We had monkeys crawling in and it kind of scared us in the very beginning. We had to close our doors, we had to get the lady out to come in and uh, protect us from the monkeys. But in all honesty, they weren't, they weren't dangerous. We were just freaked out. Uh, but we had beautiful sunsets here on the cliff sides overlooking Uluwatu. This, wonder what winning life looks like. This is what winning in life looks like. White wine, cliff side, overlooking the ocean. Start right in the bathroom because this is cool. Okay, just got this little cool stand up, chill shower. Got this little window here that, as you're brushing your teeth, looking over the ocean, that's cool. Waking up to this view? Yes, please. There you go. It was sad to say goodbye, but we knew we had a lot of other uh, epic places coming up on the rest of our trip. So this was this was our travel day. We grabbed a quick bite to eat. Uh, while you're in Bali, one of my favorite things is just the is the fruit shakes every single morning. Strawberry shakes, mango shakes. Uh, it's part of being on an island. It's beautiful. And we jumped into a van, which took us over to the airport, and it was off to Komodo Island. So you have to fly into a place called Rinka Island, uh, and then from there you take a, a boat that will take you out to the Komodo Island to see the dragons. We did some scuba diving, which you'll see as, as we come up here. Uh, scuba diving was some of the most beautiful dives that I've ever seen across all of Asia. Um, the planes were super small, so we kind of joked around that we were in first class. So, oh, wait. first class. Excellent. <laughs> Thank Super important that if you're staying on Komodo Island or some of the other islands within the national park is that they know that you're coming and they're gonna, they're gonna uh, set you up with a boat scheduled to take you out to the islands and you just meet in one of the local coffee shops that they pre-arrange and they take you on out. Um, note to self is that the boats, we thought that they were gonna speed up and go a lot faster uh, but they just they stay at like a, a 10 or 15 kilometer clip the entire way. So settle in, enjoy it and treat that as part of the journey place to place and quote unquote travel from destination to destination. I kind of believe this should always be a beautiful journey. Now you can create that beautiful journey in your mind just by your mindset or you can just jump on a boat and make, and make it seem like it's a boat cruise. It also helps to have a pretty, a pretty woman next beside you. Okay?
boat heading out to Komodo Island, and this is another bucket list. You saw my last video from Borneo. So Komodo Island is really famous for, well, first off, the Komodo dragons, but in terms of diving, Komodo is super famous. For, it's because of the confluence of two different oceans. You've got the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. It creates just a really unique uh, underwater light, like ecosystem. And this wrapped up our third day. It's been super fast paced and we were born back onto the plane to head back to the Bali mainland. And then from there, we're gonna catch a ferry over to the Nusa Islands, Nusa Limbongan and Nusa Panita. These were the unexpected, but favorite parts of our entire trip. And you'll see why coming up. There's so many villas in Bali that have infinity pools, and if you're anything like I am, infinity pools are some of the coolest things um, that I don't get to experience very often. So make sure that as you're looking at your the places you're staying, that they've got infinity pools because they're plentiful, and it'd be a real shame to, to be at a place that doesn't have a, a beautiful pool overlooking the ocean side. So this was an absolute must-see. It's called Devil's Tear on Noosa Limbongan. It's where the waves crashing against the cliff sides. You're gonna see why right now. But I gotta leave soon. Even if you've never ridden a motorbike back home in your home country, scooters and motorbikes are by far and away some of the best ways to explore the islands. There's so little traffic that it's super safe. Um, and I would highly recommend to rent a, a scooter. Most of the hotels and villas that you're probably staying at will have these available for rent. They're absolutely all over the place. Here's another epic place to check out. It's called Blue Lagoon, and again, it's on Nusa Limbongan. Uh, the way the water and the sulfur from the, the cliff sides react, it creates this crystal aqua blue water um, that is great for photos. <laughs> So this was back at Devil's Tier. Uh, we, we went here every single night for sunset. Uh, we grabbed some snacks, uh, we grabbed some beers, some drinks, some snacks. Uh, great place to see the sunset. What if we took 
if we took a famous quote. I wrote down, living is in the journey, not the destination. Probably didn't really know what it meant when I was 17 years old, but I think it's cool. So this was our search for the manta rays. We didn't unfortunately have a chance to see the mantas in Komodo. Um, so we tried again in Nusa Limbongan. Um, and then through that day, we were able to dive down and see the Buddhas. If you ask any of the boat drivers that you rent, they'll be able to take you there. Um, they're off the coast of Nusa Limbongan. This was another great place called T-Rex. And thanks to my girlfriend, I hadn't even heard of this, but thanks to my girlfriend, we went and checked this place out. You can also take the stairs all the way down. It's probably about an, uh, an hour hike all the way down and then back up. Honestly, going down those like super steep hills, going through the bushes.